she'll be coming around now. Hey guys, it's Parks Pass and we're here at Coral Pink Sand Dune State Park. So far, this is actually the farthest we've traveled to make one of these videos. Can you sing that one more time, Ryan? <laughs> but I would say that this is super <laughs> worth it. So we're here at the Coral Pink Observation Deck where you can see these amazing sand dunes. We're so excited because we have a lot of fun things planned for today. We're gonna install a sign in the gift shop. We're gonna go sandboarding down the dunes. And then we also have an ATV to go riding on the dunes. Well, I designed a sign for the Coral Pink's gift shop and it's pretty big. We're gonna see if we can get it to fit on their wall. We had to fit it in between all of the seats because this was the only vehicle it would fit in. Just Fans around the world sign. How you wanted it hung up. We highly recommend that you go check out their gift shop. They have a display where hundreds of bottles of sand have been donated from all around the world. This sign was just the finishing touch. Yay! We're going to get sandboards because we're going to ride the sandboards down the sand dunes. Thank you. So we just got these sandboards and we're gonna go shred some dunes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> they were being serious when they said not to carve. Do we have the ability to bleep out words? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ryan. Get your ass so long ago. Sand was pushed into my butt crack at a solid 25 pounds of pressure per square inch. Patrick's gonna take us on a ride in his Jeep to kind of show us around the park. So it should be super fun. Am I going in here or there? You're going in here. Can you clip it on the oh. super expensive? Ride. Patrick is taking us to this really cool hike that he can rarely recommend to people because it's required to have an ATV to get to the starting point. If you ever want to visit, make sure that you reserve your ATV. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So this is our slot canyon that most people don't know about. There's a couple goofy things of how to climb it, so just follow what I say. Have any of you ever smell the ponderosa tree. I don't know if it depends on the tree. I think it depends on the person. Oh. You either smell vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Uh -huh. Smell that. You can... I, I, I feel like I've... I can't decide if it's vanilla or chocolate. <laughs> oh, this is definitely vanilla. I can't <laughs> smell strawberry. Like <laughs> Chocolatey. Yeah. Smells like... I smell vanilla. Go away for it. You're in denial. I smell chocolate. Clearly vanilla. It smells like a tree. <laughs> Short story. When I was hiking the Grand Canyon, I uh, sat in the cactus about eight miles in, <laughs> and I had to have my friend pick all the needles out of my butt, and I mooned the whole canyon. 200 people saw my butt that day. How old were you? Uh, this was like last year. This is so pretty. Yeah. 2018, this was full of sand. Nobody knew this was here. Really? We had a huge flash flood that came through and exposed the canyon. Oh, oh this is a recent discovery. Wow. So this is one of the goofy uh, spots. So, if you stand on this side, and then just kind of put your hands like this, and just walk oh. down. Oh, Lindsay. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ryan, you gotta shimmy. Oh I like shimmy. To do the same thing Sierra did. No. Yeah, make sure Ryan's in the back so that nobody falls on top of her while we're hiking. Yeah, no one fall on me. I love it. Holy cow. This is so cool. This is insanity. You good, man? I put my hand in bird poop. That Fort Canyon was super cool, but I am the most excited to see the Sand Squatch. The Sand Squatch, a desert twist on Bigfoot. This creature has many reported sightings, roaming the crimson dunes. Creepy as ever. But the park embraces it, and you can get really cute merchandise at the store. Woohoo! Wait, it's not it! <laughs> oh my gosh! We found the sand squatch. It's so cool. Location unknown. Yeah. Come out here and see if you can find it. Ryan is loving this off roading that is happening. So we're going to film her reaction. Here. Now we're on top of the world. We mentioned Starlink in uh, one of our previous videos. So out here at Quill Pink, they've actually never had service or Wi-Fi. So we brought this Starlink yeah. that they can make 911 calls or, you know, everyone needs service, so. Ready? The reveal. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. We love our Starlinks. Thank you, Elon Musk. So Starlink, um, these systems will connect to um, SpaceX satellites which allows for internet service basically in the middle of nowhere. And the United States is pretty well covered. I think you can go anywhere. We'll get it set up for them. And then this isn't actually going to be installed here at the visitor center, but it's going to be installed at the lookout location so we can scan QR codes and look up information about the sand dunes. Another problem that other Wi-Fi providers have is during the winter, a lot of their satellite systems get ice and they get snow on them and it causes obstruction so you don't get really good internet service, but Starlink has a built-in heater system, so during the winters, it'll melt all the snow and the ice off of the Starlink. My gosh, it looks like I got good Wi-Fi because I'm about to post my B-Rail. Posted, should I caption it? Work. So I'm getting text messages and everything. We have oh. over 100 megabits per second speed upload, six times faster than my at-home Wi-Fi. We had a blast today at Coral Pink Sand Dunes. Come check it out. Thanks, Patrick, for the ice cream. Oh. oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This feels more safe to me. This feels more safe. Oh my gosh, this is actually kind of scary. In the sand! Ah. Okay. Ah. Oh, I think I'm out of wax. I have no wax! Where am I? <laughs> <laughs>